Can you feel it? Can you feel it, y'all? The coolness, look at me, I'm in a daggum flannel. It's in the 60s right now, cold front's coming in, northwest wind. I feel it, Rob. I love how we said 60s, and I bet you 60s is a high in like Michigan. Oh yeah, for sure. We get excited in Texas though, when it gets like <laughs> yeah. this. We're like, we get to wear hoodies, yeah. yes! All around, good for hunting, good for fishing, and this is going to be my third attempt in recent history to try to go out and catch some bass. This time, New Lake. The last time me and Rob went out, it was tumultuous. Tumultuous? Is that a word? Tumultuous? There's something in there I can't say. This is gonna be our third attempt. We said, let's scrap the local lakes, let's get out there a little bit. So we've gone out, gone about a 45 minute drive to another lake. First cold front really coming in, last night, strong. And we got a heavy wind, water's gonna cool down a little bit. Before we get the boat in the water though, I gotta tell you about Carl's guys. This is exciting, we've been working with Carl's, AKA Mystery Tackle Box behind the scenes. Right now, we're just getting these in. Rob tossed me those bad boys. Thank you, getting baits, y'all. Tons of them, tons of them coming in, along with many other baits. One of the problems when the site first launched is not everything was on there. Now they're adding hundreds of products every month just for you guys. It's all the meat and potatoes you need, spinner baits, crank baits, top waters, all sorts of plastics and terminal tackle. And you want to save 30% off the entire site. You can sign up for Carl's Club and you can actually get Guggen baits, other plastics, and everything 30% off. So you're gonna save money if you're a tackle junkie like me, you buy a ton of tackle. And if you wanna save even more money right now, $5 off anything you wanna order on the entire site, visit the link in the description, guys. Ow. Rob just, you know, the old boat trailer, it's taken out a few shins in its day. Anyways, guys, go visit the site. We are going to get out on the water now and uh, put some of the products from Carl's to the test, including Guggen baits that are now fully in stock at Carl's. So if you wanna go get some, go save some money, do it to it. Rob, what do you think is gonna be the main pattern for today? A uh, moving bait. A moving bait. I would, I would tend to agree with you, buddy, because this front coming in, it looks like we're gonna have bright skies here in about two hours, but I, yeah, I know. But I think the first couple hours of the day, it's definitely gonna be moving bait. Hey, look at these teal. Flare, flare, flare. No, those are pigeons. Those are pigeons, <laughs> Never mind. I thought, that, I thought they were teal. I got I excited. Run. I've been following the moon, and I think that mid-October, that's when the fishing's really gonna turn on, at least in our region, where we are. The water's gonna cool down enough, gonna be Pretty shysty in the middle of the month. Tons of rain and the water's high. Not the best conditions, but we gotta we gotta go out there and try it. It's what we do. We're fishing freaks. It's what we gotta do. I had to put it in four-wheel drive the other day. Get out of the mud a little bit. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen a dirt cloth of that magnitude on the nose of a boat, but there it is. Selections of tasties. Steven, what's your predictions for the day? Um pretty good. Positive thinking, that's good. Yeah. It's nice and cool. It is. You're, oh, fish you're prepared. But. <laughs> Rob will get some line on his reels. Um, eventually we'll go we'll go get out there. A little bit of a wind factor. Water 74 right now. It's gonna be going up. Yeah, that's something you don't want to rub your rub your uh, fiberglass boat next to. We're due for a win, Rob. We're due for a win. Remember what happened last time. I don't think it made it on my channel. Cold front's actually blowing through. It's clear on the other side. Flare! Get him! Oh, there's the clear, Macy! Pop, pop! Oh, they're coming around. Come around. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Yes. Starting off first cast with a snag. Gonna have to visit Carl's again. Oh, God! Ah. Had one right there. This is the condition you want with two trolling motor batteries on a 36 volt system. There he is. Oh, it came off. There you go. Yeah, two of them that slapped it. Oh, wow. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Boys, get ready for thunder, because there's the lightning. Wow. Every time you get those rains, dude, this is what comes up. I could literally eat that like, no, like two bites. I could be like a hot dog. Just look. 
Wow. Good. Yeah, I was Good. rolling. Good. I, I'm glad I was rolling. <laughs> Didn't want to miss that excitement. Wow. Jeez. Here's what I'm noticing here. Shad and the fish seem to be a little deeper so far. That is bright. Why? Because that sun is coming out strong right now. We've been out here 30 minutes, guys, and already I've amassed a five inch bass. Can you believe it? We just had a, uh, a groovy looking spot right there. The problem was the wind was just hard and I've only got two trolling motor batteries right now. So it was just too difficult. I think we're gonna maybe jump around a little bit. Oh my gosh, the bird just came up almost. Looks like he was coming in the boat. <laughs> See that beak on that thing? It's crazy. Probably gonna try some other stuff that's a little calmer. This isn't just fishing. This is strategizing right now. They can totally hear me. I spent $800 on this mic probably. <laughs> Can't hear that at all. I don't know what you're talking about, Rob. We got a suppressor on this thing. These shad are scattered all around this, this bridge area that we're fishing. And we're trying to figure out what's the best depth, what do we need to do. What would you do, Fishing Freaks? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Go get coffee. Go get coffee and take a nap. That's coming back for sure, right? <laughs> that might work with a jig, but a crankbait? <laughs> Oh, this is, this is, oh, this is good things. when you got a hard metal. Oh, there's rope yeah, there's, too. <laughs> rope, <dude>. Freaking awesome. <laughs> this is probably one of our best starts we've had, and it's connected to the Oh, yeah, water. I see. You know, it's, you uh, hop on there? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to let this $14 crankbait have a great day right there. Retire. <laughs> That's, oh, uh, this is good. Chopcrawls.com because you'll need some more. <laughs> Perfect example. Shads are cruising, cruising the city right here. Cruising with shads. Yep. Got him. Yep. Yes, sir. Good fish. Good there fish. Go. Right on the rocks. Right. Hey, hey. Yeah. There we go. Good start. It's kind of dark. Looks like oh. a looks like oh. a marina fish. Oh, Can I today. smell him? Yeah, he's been eating shad. That's a shad. Hundred percent. Go ahead and just put me in there. God, I got ripped. Yeah. Okay. Nicely done, Rob. Nicely done. Just... Right in the crack. Oh. Whoa, you almost split your gooch. <laughs> well, hey, well done. There, well was, done. there was one there. There was one there. Well done. A couple of bites on the yigs so far, guys. All the bites have been on the bottom so far. Even my crankbait bite that I got, I missed one fish on a jig. It bit my, uh, I was actually using a crack and crotch right there. Chewed it up and I missed him. I think we're gonna continue this pattern around the marinas. Kind of go around and just fish the edges of uh, the break walls. All the shad I've seen so far are close to the bottom. It's important to keep in mind, we're out here on these rainy, changing conditions, fall, ultimate, try to figure out days. We're gonna try our hands here with a little flipping. Two foot. Some sweet beaver. Golly, oh, oh, whoa, man, what a hook set. Oh, God. Dang gum. What a hook set's an understatement. Did that scare everybody? Yeah. It scared me. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot what a bite feels like. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It just fell right out of his daggum mouth. There's a pretty fish. Do you have one too, swimming yeah, out with it? Swimming Mine was swimming out with it. All the way out here. Hey. This right here, this fish is in water that wasn't there like two days ago. That's what's awesome about bass. They're just sneaky little guys. Love you. Thank you. Goes back there a little ways. That plastic's had it. We're gonna go with the old, the green. Step into this chamber here and uh, let's see what we got. I'm just gonna go with your traditional. I think these have been out enough to call it traditional. Watermelon red, bandito bug. One of the best bait names ever. Oh, are you kidding me? What? My little bait keeper thing fell off. Big thing with a straight shank hook there, Fish and Frakes, is you must have a some sort of stopper keeper on your hook. If you've never been here on this channel and you want to learn how to tie a proper knot here on one of these straight shanks, you're in luck today. Straight shanks are the deal because there's no bend for the bait to have to slink around. This is what they should look like. 
mine has lost its, its nub, you could say. Using 20 pound fluorocarbon here. I really would not go lighter than that on the flip game. You wanna go in straight through the eye on the side of the hook point, and then make yourself a little loop there. And you go around the shaft four or five times. If you're using fluoro, if you're using braid, I would probably go like six or seven times. The whole idea on this knot is you want it to lay flat. The line is actually gonna sit on top of your hook shank instead of on the eye. I'm sure GoPro quality is getting none of this, but pull tight and give yourself a little tag end. Why do you wanna use that hook? Well, so you can penetrate the plastic and the weeds, everything, fish's mouth quickly. And there's, look at that, upward, upward penetration. Take your Bandito bug, go through like this, and that little stopper there is gonna stop the plastic and you're ready to play with the big boys. Always, always, always make sure you separate your limbs. Separate your segments and your limbs. And if I'm flipping super heavy stuff, I like to take a couple of the front ones off. Oh, where First are we flipper, go? baby. Okay. Don't even know if I was recording. Probably wasn't, <laughs> was I? <laughs> yes, I wasn't. Oh. Smoked him? Got him! Oh, we came off, oh. dude. Ah, oh, he must have barely had it. He was right in that mud line. I, I want to know how he got inside the boat being so small. Okay, we just had a, a snake come into the boat. If you ever are out of buzz bait trailers, you know what I'm saying? This could be a good alternative. Look at that little guy. Look at him. <laughs> bite your face. One thing to look for on snakes if you're a little worried is, is their round eyes. They got round eyes or they got like nasty cat eyes. That's when you know. You probably don't want to mess with those too much. And their face shape, but he is just a delicious little bass snack is what he is. So we're gonna let him go back into the depths. Goodbye. I think he peed on me. I really just shut my GoPro off. Jig fish! Jig fish! No. Come here. Barely got him, dude. He took the pinchers first. I saw the pinchers before. And luckily I didn't feel him. So I went back in for a second dangle. And uh, came off that little stick there. There's a lot more sticks here, which is good. I know, right? One fish move, one fish move. That has move. literally been the deal. We go to a, a second, third, fourth spot, we get a fish and then goners. You see this quite often though, guys, right here? Your, uh, your pinchers get gone. They take them, they rip them off, and then they come back and they actually eat the whole jig, but um, that's why we make more. Guggen baits, they come, in, they come in packs. I actually like putting them in a big Ziploc like this and just big greasy bags. Sometimes your legs get all cattywampus, but that's when you're dialed in like, like spring flipping. It's nothing but that or maybe a good fall dangle. You just got one color and you're just, hammering them down. This is kind of like a, a half pack day, maybe a quarter pack day. Always separate your appendages. God, just be a big nasty four pounder up here, please. Just do something with your life. Broke me off. No, I just saw that too. Son of a gun. Just solid thump, dude. It's probably from fishing all that rebar and stuff and then not retying. That's a bit of a cog in the wheel. I think that might be a game ender for me. I'm kind of disappointed on that, on that note. Am I disappointed? Yes. Am I gonna cry? No. This is just one of those days I've had a handful, plenty. Let's not lie, we've had lots like this where you're not getting on a, a pattern really. We semi had a pattern, but it's really just like one fish in each spot. And that last area, I was gonna get a quality bite. I was like willing it, I was like, please. God, just be a big nasty four pounder up here, please. Please Lord, give me a good solid bite. And I got the bite and I hadn't had a bite in so long. I got super excited and I jacked him. I hadn't checked my line 
after fishing nasty rocks and rebar stuff. It was my fault. The line was frayed and the fish broke off. It was probably a nice fish, you know. I'm gonna say like four or five pounds. It really thumped it hard. The day started off really silly, funny. We were having just a lot of, you know, good times, like me and Rob usually do. And then later in the day, we were like, let's get it on. And we were just grinding one at a time, one at a time. But that right there just kind of killed the mood. It's like, man, that sucks. It's gone. Is it gone in going the series? Are you serious? Dude, the snake is back, bro. Oh my gosh, there's no way. He is up in the cracks. He is in the cracks. I guess you're taking him. I guess you're taking him. I guess I'm taking old slithery snake home. I, it'd be a, f a welcome snake at the treehouse. I hate seeing copperheads and water moccasins, so I'd love to see some of these guys around here eating the little, little critters that we have. So I'm, I'll gladly take him home. Hopefully he'll come out and, you know, do his thing. If not, he'll just hang out in here all year and <laughs> he'll get big. I uh, I have a snake in my boat. Don't know where it is? I have an idea of where it is, but I'm not entirely what? sure. Oh, what was that? Gosh, what is going on with the reptiles today? Look at this. Deep in the shadows. He's a land dragon, Komodo. Good, look at him doing push-ups, getting territorial on us. Love it, house. love it. He's a big one, he's the big dog. He's he's the head of the lizard territory here at the treehouse. He's guarding the treehouse. How are my girls? Oh, we're doing good. The fishing was a little tough out there today. Mm -hmm. But uh, we managed to make do. Well, I'm surprised it wasn't good with the cool front. It's the bluebirder, I think. What if you were to get in my boat and then all of a sudden it's just crawling around in the cup the next day? Are you sure there's a snake in there? Like I what? am sure, yes, 100%. Little buddy, where'd you go? They can pretty much get anywhere they want to. He went down under my seat here. Uh, he'll figure it out, I guess. Well, to end this video, I really wanted to let the snake go. It was like the circle of life came to us in the boat twice apparently and then I was gonna let it go here at the treehouse is gonna be like a really cool ending um, but now I can't find the snake so I'm just gonna have to end it with me as usual and we got a new boat coming soon y'all not that there's anything wrong with this one right now but we uh, we are gonna get a new boat and I'm gonna be doing a reveal on that and this one is going up for sale I got to keep it for a little bit we got Guggen Week coming up. We need some extra boats. If you guys are interested in the boat, um, I will let you know when it goes up for sale. And as always, thank you for being here, guys. I love you. You've been here for many times, hopefully. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do fishing. I do hunting. I do life things. Um, I try to be a good person and love everyone. That is, maybe that's my calling. But I sure would love it if you hit the like button. Just just one time. If you've never even done it, just curious to see like what it feels like. Just go ahead and smash it. And until I see you on the next one, guys, hope wherever you are, you're having a very blessed day in the outdoors. Go enjoy it. It's cooling off. Go outside, sniff the air, feel the energy. Animals are starting to move. I'm getting way too excited for fall. But anyways, I will see you guys on the next adventure. <laughs>